Deep within the lush, verdant rainforests of ancient Colombia, a creature of immense size and power once lurked. This was Titanoboa, the largest snake to ever slither across the face of the earth based on its vertebrae size. Scientists compared its bones to modern snakes to estimate its length and weight. They found it was much larger than any snake alive today. Imagine a creature so massive it dwarfed even the largest anacondas alive today. Titanoboa, a semi-aquatic snake like no other. It was of colossal size and had a fearsome reputation. Could you see this giant coming from afar? Not likely. The Titanoboa's coloration allowed it to blend seamlessly into its swampy environment, lying in wait for the perfect moment to strike. During the Paleocene Epoch, which began around 66 million years ago, the primeval world was not ruled by the likes of Tyrannosaurus rex, but by a massive snake lurking in the warmest, wettest parts of South America. Dense jungles flourished in Colombia, Venezuela and Brazil, creating swampy habitats perfect for cold-blooded creatures to thrive. To understand Titanoboa, we must journey back in time some 60 million years to the Paleocene Epoch. This was a world still reeling from the extinction of the dinosaurs, a world where dense jungles and humid swamps provided the perfect environment for reptiles to thrive. Titanoboa, with its sleek, muscular body, was perfectly adapted to this environment. It moved effortlessly through the undergrowth, its size and strength unmatched in this prehistoric paradise. The University of Florida and the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute conducted an expedition to the Cherejon coal mines in La Guajira in 2002. During this expedition, students discovered large thoracic vertebrae and ribs. Over the course of the expedition, they unearthed a total of 186 fossils from 30 individuals. The expedition lasted until 2004, during which the fossils of Titanoboa were mistakenly labelled as those of crocodiles. Another expedition to Kerejon, launched in 2011, found more fossils from Titanoboa. Based on fossil evidence, paleontologists estimate it stretched an astonishing 13 metres long, surpassing today's largest snakes. If alive today, Titanoboa would undoubtedly hold the record for both length and weight, reaching up to 1,000 kilograms. But like all giants, Titanoboa's reign eventually came to an end. The exact reasons for its extinction remain a mystery, but scientists believe that climate change played a significant role. During the Paleocene, which lasted from about 66 to 56 million years ago, the Earth's temperature averaged around 24, 25 degrees Celsius. For cold-blooded creatures like the Titanoboa, this was ideal. They relied on their environment to regulate their body temperature. As the waters warmed, Titanoboas may have been forced to adapt. Some theories suggest that they could have moved onto land, expanding their diet to include the new mammals that were beginning to thrive above water. But these massive snakes would have needed to evolve significantly to navigate a terrestrial lifestyle. Unable to adapt to this changing world, Titanoboa eventually vanished from the face of the earth, leaving behind only its fossilized bones as a testament to its former glory. What if, by some twist of fate, Titanoboa had survived the ravages of time? What if this prehistoric giant still lurked in the depths of the Amazon rainforest, a living relic of a bygone era? As an apex predator, it would influence the food chain by regulating populations of swamp dwellers like turtles and crocodiles. If somehow Titanoboa had adapted to the shifting climate, it may still have struggled against evolving competition from mammals. In ancient times, humans hunted enormous animals like mammoths to extinction. The presence of Titanoboa in the modern world would undoubtedly have profound implications for the delicate balance of our ecosystems. Titanoboa might even pose a danger to humans, similar to large terrestrial carnivores like bears and big cats. Imagine encountering a large serpent in your backyard. It would be capable of wrapping around vehicles and swallowing a human. It used its immense strength to squeeze the life out of its prey by wrapping around them or constricting their windpipes before swallowing them whole. And if a victim tried to escape, they'd be met with rows of sharp teeth that would dig in deep. 
The introduction of such a massive predator into existing ecosystems would likely lead to both competition and adaptation. Imagine the clashes between Titanoboa and existing apex predators like crocodiles and large cats, their territorial battles shaking the very foundations of the food chain. Picture the adaptations of prey animals as they evolved new strategies to avoid becoming a meal for this colossal serpent. The presence of Titanoboa would be a constant evolutionary pressure, driving change and shaping the very fabric of life in its domain.